A daughter of Newark returns home. Dana Owens, better known as hip hop legend Queen Latifah, returned to her stomping ground Tuesday to break ground on a housing development meant to elevate and revitalize the city that helped nurture her. What's always been important is that I could build something in this city that I could live in, that Queen Latifah could live in, not just Dana. Dana could live in anywhere. If you know Dana, you know Dana can roll. After experiencing a delay due to COVID, construction at 650 Springfield Avenue officially started earlier this year. The development called Rise Living is a collaboration between Life Assets Development and the Blue Sugar Corporation, which was co-founded by Queen Latifah. The singer and actress not only throwing her star power behind the cause to beautify the once widely ignored block, but hopes to inspire others to do the same. Newark is ours. Newark is yours. And I don't want people to think that they can't live in their own communities. There's nothing, uh, uh, you know, African American women making this happen uh, is an incredible, incredible, incredible thing uh, in this city. Rise Living is part of a wave of ongoing development across Newark where a multi billion dollar revitalization plan is now underway. When the development is complete, it's going to bring 76 housing units to the neighborhood in addition to 1,900 square feet of ground floor space for nonprofit organizations. It will also include over a dozen affordable housing units. It's just the first of many projects in the pipeline for Latifa and her development partners who want to create housing opportunities for incomes that reflect the community in Newark. We can't uh, price everyone out of Newark who has grown here and lived here all of our lives. Pre-leasing for Rise Living is expected to start in July.